probably need to stop filming since there are people here that you haven't asked to permission to film. Oh, well, I don't need it on the sidewalk. That, that's true, but yeah, you know, these people really don't want to be filmed. Hello and welcome to this Sunday installment of First Amendment Rights. Today I'm in the city of Brea, California. I'm doing a First Amendment audit outside the refinery church today. Seeing if my right to record, gather a photo and video from a public sidewalk will be respected. Stay tuned and we'll see how things go. So it looks like they got a tent set up for outdoor services today. It's like a little breakfast bar in the back set up here. Coffee, pastries, donuts, that's pretty cool. What you got going on? Not know much. How about you guys? Good. Just here enjoying the morning. Nice. Can I ask why you're uh, taking pictures? Oh, uh, well, I'm busy working right now, so I don't really like to talk while I'm working. Who do you work for? Huh? Who do you work for? Well, I don't care to discuss that. Who do you work for? Well, I work here at the church on Sunday mornings, that's Very cool. for sure. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Good to know. All right, well, you have a good morning. The refinery church, there we go. It's like their service times begin at like 10 o'clock, I think, yeah. Because we got people here that probably wouldn't appreciate that. What's that? Did you hear what I said? No, I wasn't listening. What? I said, probably need to stop filming since there are people here that you haven't asked to permission to film. Oh, well, I don't need it on the sidewalk. That, that's true, but yeah. you know, these people really don't want to be filmed. Oh, well, I really don't want to have an interaction with you. So. Oh, well then you can go ahead and move on. Well, I'm, I can stay as well. You can move along if you like. Have a good day. So it looks like they got some merchandise set up in the tent. Hey? I mean, is there anything you want to say positive about your church while I have the camera on? Say positive about our church? Yeah, I mean, for the people that are going to be watching this. Who are going to be watching this? Quite a bit of people, actually. Why? Why is there so many questions? You asked me to talk about our church. I'm just curious why. Well, I'm giving you opportunity. Yeah, I don't know you and I don't know your audience, so I'm not sure really well, how to I, comment. I don't know you, so I'm going to disengage, so have a good morning, guys. Right, so you don't know me. Why are you filming? Huh? Why are you filming? Why are you attending church? That That's that's not that's not answering my question. Why are you filming? Well, you're asking me questions. Why yeah, are you why are you been attending here a long church? time. Can I ask why you're filming us? You can ask, of course, yeah. You are aware that anything from a public view can be recorded, correct? From a public view can... Yeah, but you know what's been going on at churches with people disrupting and I violence dis I haven't disrupted place. anything. I just got here like less right. than five minutes ago. So we're ago. very aware of people yeah. who are coming into this setting. For sure. Right. And you have every right to have your concerns. Yeah, I, we're yeah. very concerned. Because I not too long I ago at church in Laguna Miguel, yeah. somebody came in and shot up people. So I heard about very that. Aware That's very of unfortunate, yes. Yeah. But I don't believe I'm posing a threat to anybody. You don't seem to be, but you are videoing, so that is a concern. Well, it's part of my First Amendment right to video, just to like... To video it, a church? In public. To video a church is your First Amendment right? Freedom of press, yeah. Anything that can be You're seen... You're part of the press? Well, we all are. We all have the freedom of press. But your freedom is now infringing on these people's privacy freedom. But let me explain to you, if you're in public, if you can be seen from public, then there's no expectation of privacy. Supreme Court's decided that a long time ago. I mean, you're welcome to look it up. Still don't understand why you'd want to film a church. Because I'm going to disseminate some information to the public. What information are you planning to disseminate about a worship service? Whatever I'm here to document. Like I said, it's my First Amendment freedom of press right. Okay. Uh, Dino, I'm going to ask you to go ahead and call the authorities. So Would you like can, some information about the law check to, to ease your discomfort? If, if they're actually within his rights. Because I'm not sure, but the police will know if that's actually. Oh, uh, yeah, they're going to tell you the same thing I just told you. Great. Yeah. So you're welcome to call whoever you like. Oh, with what's been going on around churches around America? Definitely. I, I understand. Absolutely. I fully understand. And I'm not knocking you for your concerns. You're welcome to have those concerns, just yeah. like anybody. 
And because I have two gentlemen standing in front of me, I'm recording for my security right now. For your security? Yes. Yeah. So. You seem like you're nervous. Hi, no. we seem to have a person that is um, videotaping, videotaping and is being discreet and doesn't want to give up any type of information or ID. Perfectly legal. He is suspectful. Can we get a, uh, an officer to roll by and take a look at uh, what we're doing here? You might want to tell him I'm yeah, on a public sidewalk. I'm side at 125 well. West Ash and... Refinery Church. We, it's Refinery Church. I mean, your sign right there says and you're welcome here, but I don't absolutely. I don't feel very welcome here at this moment. Well, but you're and videotaping. That's what I'm asking. About. And there's no crime in that. He's got a backpack on if and anybody was videotaping. he's wearing glasses and a hat, so he looks very uh, suspicious. And he doesn't want to give up any kind of information. Again, perfectly legal that I don't. So I mean, I'm willing to offer you guys information on the law if you want. I asked, what, what is this for? Huh? What is this for? Would you like information on the law to ease your discomfort? Would you like information on the law to ease your discomfort? On the what? The law. The law. Well, hey, here's our police officer right here. You can talk nice. to him. Nice. Well, I have nothing to say to them. I'm not here for them. I'm well, just here to but, document. But they're here to make sure that everything is done right and in order. Well, they'll tell you the same thing I just did if yeah. they do their job right. Absolutely. So we'll see. Dino, is that your name? Dino? Nice. nice to meet you, by the way. Well, you haven't given up any of your information, so it's not very nice to meet you. I mean, I, I'm not obligated to, am I? Well, it is as a moral obligation. Yeah, uh, apparently, you're lacking in moral compass no. because you're carrying a backpack and you're filming. So. Oh, it's got water in it. Well, we don't know that. Did you see the straw coming out? Yeah. 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 We don't know anything about you, and you've been disruptive this whole time that you've been here. So. Disruptive? How so? Like I said, I just videotaping people when they have not given you permission to do that. So again, very disruptive. Again, permissions sidewalk. not needed in public. Yeah, but if I was on your property, then of course I'd need permission. Well, it's still no. It's close enough. That's how the law works. The, well, you push things to a law. We have a church service there's going a moral on. Law. People are coming here expecting to be safe, to not have to. I'm not be posing filmed. a threat to anybody. I mean, you guys are broadcasting your service to online, aren't you? Oh, there they are. Brea PD. Well, the police are over there. And again, they're not going to do anything. Yeah. Well, but we have people here that do not want to be videotaped. Well, then. Are you guys having service inside or is it strictly outside? Yes, inside. They're welcome to go inside to create their privacy then. Well, thank you for giving us permission to go inside. I mean, if you want that privacy, very thoughtful of if you. you don't want privacy and you don't want to be seen from public, I then. I appreciate you telling us how to have a worship service. I mean, you're offering those options. Of course we are. And if people are uncomfortable being seen outside, then they're welcome they're to go being, inside. If they're uncomfortable being filmed by you? Yeah, they probably are. Well, discomfort, Most discomfort doesn't override the law. We don't know where this is going. Do you think it's right to film people? I wasn't here specifically filming anyone in, in oh, particular. Oh, no, you were going all over here filming. And yeah, I'm getting my shots for my video. Shots for your video. We don't know what that video is going to do. Is that any of your business at the moment? You're taking my image. Well, yeah, you're just standing in front of, of me. That I you're standing in front of me. Yeah, and you're using them? Again, freedom of press, First Amendment. I have the, same right, to, I have the same right to be here that you have the same right to be here. Because we're all created equal in America, I'm aren't not we? videotaping you. You have the right to. But I'm not. That's just because choice. I have the right doesn't make it right. That's just because I have the right doesn't make it right. Sure it does. It does? Yeah, if, it's, if you have rights granted to you in this country, then yeah, you're fully... That makes it right. I mean, you're here at church exercising your First Amendment right. Mm. So I guess it makes it right, doesn't it? Not necessarily. Okay, each their own. So we got Brea police up the street there. Well, I will ask a favor. Yeah. Please don't harass 
You don't engage with any of the people that are coming to church. The only people that have engaged are you and your uh, friend That's what I'm over saying. There. I'm asking you not to do that with anybody that comes to the church. Will you do that? Have I initiated contact with I'm anyone? I'm asking, will you please not engage Have I initiated or harass anybody from anyone? our church? So he was saying that there's no way to be engaged in, like, these guys will engage you at all costs. I didn't engage anybody. The two of you walked up to me. So as long as we keep engaging him, don't bump into me. So as long as we keep engaging him, don't bump into me. So as long as we keep engaging him, don't bump into me. You know? That's the way that he does. You want to not bump into me? I'm sorry. You want to not bump into oh, me? Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, you want to not bump into sorry, me? Sorry, Look at that. You want to not bump into me? Sorry. We've got a transporter zone. That's a public. Are you aware of the Bane Act, sir? Yeah. Sorry. Are you aware of the Bane Act? <laughs> this asshole's stepping on my foot. Are you aware of the Bane Act? Are you aware of the Tom Bane Act? Trying to prevent, trying to prevent anyone from their constitutional rights is a civil rights violation. You guys, you guys seem like hypocrites. You are welcome. You should put a stipulation unless it's with a camera. Wow. What is fucking here? So I think I'll, uh, I'm gonna have a talk with the police here about this guy in the plaid. We've had two officers, units drive by from Brea PD. No one showed up yet. And we've got Big Boy over here, intentionally bumping into me. Oh, there they go. There they go. I'm not gonna show up. I got better things to do. So now, big boy, here's the focal point of the story. So that officer that drove by gave a wave there. I guess they were here for the initial call. So I actually uh, just got off the phone with uh, Brea PD non-emergency line to send another unit out. We're gonna teach this guy a lesson today about deliberately bumping into people on a sidewalk, stepping on their feet, and violating the Bain Act. See how it plays out. If Bray of PD even decides to show up again. We'll see, stand by. So conveniently, big boy in plaid that bumped into me is nowhere to be seen out here. He's probably hiding inside. No side of him out here. Looks like we got two officers over here. Let's see if they want to make contact. Stand by. How's it going? Good morning. How are you? Pretty good. How are you doing? Uh, I'd be better if I wasn't uh, physically uh, assaulted just now on a sidewalk. Oh, what happened? Uh, well, I'm out here peacefully documenting. Uh, within like five minutes, I had two guys approach me. Got it all on video. Okay. Uh, they were expressing their concerns, you know, with not knowing who I am. And I, I told them I understand their concerns. I tried to explain to them that I have every right to be out here mm -hmm. uh, documenting. I didn't give them my information. I didn't care to. Uh, don't know who they are. They don't know who I am, you know. Uh, didn't engage in anybody. And a uh, big guy in plaid shirt was like deliberately bumping into me, stepping on my foot. So. I'd like to press charges against him. Okay. Uh, do you have your ID on you? I do. Okay. Can I see it? Yeah. And can I see the video also? Sure. So yeah. I... Yeah. Give me one second. So you said he was, I'm sorry, bumping into you? Yeah. He was deliberately uh, bumping into me because they obviously didn't like the fact that I'm out here reporting. Yeah, some people don't know, you know, that you're allowed to do this. So. Yeah, I understand. And I I'm told sure them, yeah, definitely. 
There you go. Good morning. Hey, we're going to be starting the service in just about five minutes. So if you're outside, now I'm on file. Rings, cool. Make your way huh? inside where huh? it's comfortable. Huh? Cool. Now you're on file? Yeah, well, you got my information now. So there you go. Well, if you want to file a yeah, report, I do. I yeah, do, definitely. Then, I do, then definitely. We need this. Definitely, yeah. You'd have to sign a private person's arrest form. Okay. okay. It'd be you placing them under arrest. So that's you accepting all the civil and criminal liability on this. We're just accepting that arrest for you. All right. If I do determine that there was uh, an assault that took place. So are you going to show me the video? Yeah, definitely. Here. nine minute video do you need to see the entire thing or uh if you just show me maybe what led up to the incident and then when it sure occurred. yeah let me find it here was there any like uh harsh words exchanged or anything like that that would make him no they just came out and they, they, they expressed their concerns and trying to prevent anyone from their constitutional rights i believe it was a violation of the bain act as well because you know they're trying to prevent me from I didn't engage anybody. The two of you walked up to me. So as long as we keep engaging him, let him up into me. It's a... That's the way that he does. You want to not bump into me? I'm sorry. You want to not bump into me? Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, you want to not bump into me? That seems pretty deliberate to me. You want to not bump into me? Are you aware of the Bane Act, sir? Sorry. Are you aware of the Bane Act? This asshole's stepping on my foot. Are you aware of the Bane Act? Are you aware of the Tom Bane Act? Trying to prevent, trying to prevent anyone from their constitutional rights is a civil rights violation. You guys, you guys seem like hypocrites. You are welcome. You should put a stipulation unless it's with the camera. And that was the yeah, interaction where he, uh... Is that all? Yeah, that was it, yeah. Okay. They kind of just stumbled. Stumbling into you and you think he's doing it on purpose? I definitely believe it was on purpose. Okay. Are you hurt? Any paramedics or anything like that? No, I'm not physically hurt. No? Are you, like, red or anywhere? Like, maybe, like, he, like, it scratched you or, like, any visible Well, he, injury, he did maybe? step on my foot. It was a little sore at first, but... Jot down your stuff here, and then I'll go talk to him. Sure. Hear his side of the story. And, he he uh, seemed to disappear inside. Hopefully, so. we can figure out a solution here. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Can I get your names and badge numbers for the record? Yeah, I'm Officer Cross. My badge number is 1673. Appreciate it. Thank you. And can I get your Lieutenant? Sir? It's uh, 1590. Thank you very much. So has anything else happened recently to come over apologize anything like that or? there's been no apology the the two gentlemen that initially approached me i uh, wasn't even here like five minutes just getting some shots and they they approached with their concerns you know they expressed you know that you know they didn't know who i am and you know of course there's you know been recent violence down south orange county at local churches and you know they have every right to their concerns that I, I don't you know deny that Thank you. Do you have a phone number? Uh, yeah. Trying to harm you and, and physically hurt you? Or do you think he was unaware of your right to... I don't know. After I explained them that I have the right to be out here, uh -huh. trying to be as civil, and I, I even offered him information on the law, I carry a piece of paper with mm -hmm. me to ease discomfort. Yeah. Uh, they didn't They didn't want to accept it, and that's fine. But to me, it seemed pretty deliberate that he was going, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You know, tell me, hey, stop bumping into me. Okay. So... Um, well, let me go talk to him and uh, see what he has to say, okay? For sure. Yeah, I, I, let me pull up the part of the video where it showed his name tag, if you need that as well. That's the name tag he had on there. What's that say? DNO? DNO, it looks like, huh. yeah. Okay. Is that a blue plaid shirt? Yeah, this is the guy right here. Let's see here. Okay, yeah, we'll go talk to him. Thank you. So there we go.
We're gonna go have a talk with this guy. I actually initiated the uh, second call on my end after they called initially, because that's unacceptable. Brea PD heading inside now. with this guy now. The guy that bumped into me on the sidewalk. Looks like they're going around the corner. Have a talk with him. So I talked to him. Uh, Can we step down a little further? Yeah, here? yeah for sure. Thanks. So, uh, yeah. He admits he, you know, he doesn't know that, that you have the right to film and do this. So he was asked by the pastor to you kind of see what's up and he said he felt you come up behind him so he you know scoot your back like well what's going on no as long as we keep engaging him don't yeah. bump into me it's a, he will keep coming back right? you know that's the way that he does you want to not bump into me i'm sorry you want to not bump into oh, me oh sorry sorry yeah you want to not bump into sorry, me well, look at that you want to not bump into me sorry. um and so i understand you have you know yeah. the right to your feelings and all that stuff and what you think happened and what you know he thinks happened so yeah what he has offered to us to mm -hmm. prevent a police report is to come here on camera and apologize and admit that he was wrong to you if you'd like that for you to that way you squash and don't press charges on him or uh we'll, we'll see based on the uh, sincerity of his apology so that's the thing i told yeah. him i don't want to make him come over here and do that unless you know it's a deal because obviously he doesn't want to be on camera that's the whole reason he got confrontational with you in the first place so yeah, and I explained to them I that... Them I'll leave it up yeah. to you what, what you want to do. Either way, yeah. either way, this whole incident with your guys' names, yeah. numbers, everything, it's all documented in an incident, so... Okay, can I get that incident number afterwards? Of course. Okay, thank you, I appreciate it. So, are you fine with him apologizing and then me giving you that incident number? Uh, well, um, I'll, I'll hear his apology, and if it's a sincere one, then we'll go from there. Okay, like I said, I don't, I don't want to go through... I don't want to go through that because I'm not going to make him come and give a sincere apology, but maybe you don't feel like it's sincere enough and then you're like, I'm going to press charges. So if you'd rather go that route, we'll do that. Well, I'll take the report for you and I'm just going to leave him be in there and we're not going to have him apologize. Unless I tell him that and he's like, well, I want to apologize anyway, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Did, did he uh, initiate that he wanted to apologize? Yes, he did. Sounds like to me that's admitting fault if he's willing to apologize. No, yeah, I was actually surprised. Cause, and he seems, you know, he's shaken by it. He doesn't, they didn't understand. No one in the church, you know, I explained everything to them. They didn't know that you're allowed to be out here. They're, they're I, I, yeah, I told, I told them that if you guys do your job right, you'll tell them the same thing I was telling them. Yeah, we live in a crazy world. Everyone, we do. Everyone's paranoid. All I understand the time that, because, yeah. You know, all the violence that takes place here, so. Um, if that's fine with you, I'll have him come apologize and then hopefully give you that incident number and then we can uh, enjoy the Sure, you can, you can send him out here. Yeah. Okay.
Okay, I'll go grab him, okay? So he's gonna come back out. He offered to apologize. And we'll see based on the sincerity of it. I never said that I would accept the apology. But I would listen to it. So we'll see what he has to say. Here comes big boy for an apology. Let's hear it. Let's see what he has to say. So I found out your name is Christine and I'm here to apologize for anything that I might have caused or done to you and uh, hope that you can accept my apology for what, what, what happened here today. Well, I might want to seek legal representation for a Bain Act violation. Okay, like I so. said, I can give you that uh, incident number and you can, you can seek all that. Yeah, I'll there take the incident right. number. Okay, yeah. Thank you. I apologize, I'm out of cards, so I will write it. You can just say it to the camera if you want. Okay, let me get it for you. 610, what's my incident number? So it's 2206 14 29. Where am I? Do I 29 or 39? 39. 1439. 2206 1439. 1439. Okay, and like I said, it's all your guys' info is going to be inputted in there. And uh, the whole incident is documented from your call, from what he told me, what you told me. Okay? All right. Anything Thank else we can do for you? No, nah, that seems like that might be about it here. Okay, hopefully uh, we don't have any more problems for the rest of the day and you can enjoy your Sunday. Thanks. Try to stay and out can I ask meet, if okay? you guys were uh, recording the, uh, the yes, entire we time? Were. Okay, all right. I might be placing a uh, FOIA request for that. Oh, yeah, of course. All right, thank you. All right. You guys enjoy the rest of your Sunday. You Give your dad's happy Father's Day. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you for your it. service. You. All right, well, uh, the guy gave an apology on camera. I still might seek uh, legal advice about a Bain Act violation on that. I never said I would accept the apology. I would hear it though. So that's the Refinery Church in Brea. Thanks for watching guys. Don't subscribe to First Amendment Rights on YouTube. Like and share the videos. You can also follow First Amendment Rights on Facebook and Instagram. And to all the dads out there, Happy Father's Day. By the time this video airs, it'll be uh, after Father's Day. So I hope you all had a great Father's Day wherever you're at. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you next time. Bye-bye.